Playing, creating, entertaining, PCE Cinema. Battlefield Heartland and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare are gonna be a stunning creation. They will be leaders in the market, better than Destiny, better than Titanfall, they will be leaders of a new generation. Which one is better you ask me, which one more entertaining, which one is more amusing, if you could only choose one, and you ask me if I tell you which one is the right to be choosing, well let me tell you something, if you are just setting with exoskeletons a open world game in Omaha, yeah as a first person shooter that sounds confusing but in the end it's up to you. Make up your mind and you like the game you should be refusing. Let's start with Advanced Warfare and their different offers. Day Zero, Atlas or the default edition, well in my mind that's really something you don't need, something just to add competition. The game themselves focus on tactics, fast reaction times, sometimes even on logical thinking. They are stunning in graphics and really cool engines, but in the end it's just another game you sink in. The new battlefield right and wrong is not always that clear, robbers and cops as a real life fear sounds like Grand Theft Auto in my ear, but of course in a first person shooter format this year. I mean, I always wanted an open world game like Grand Theft Auto in first person, so I'm glad they made it to their mission, a whole city description keeps it original, it surely does follow the battlefield tradition, therefore Sledgehammer did something totally new, a Call of Duty in a futuristic view. I mean, it definitely sounds amazing to me and you, something we always wanted. Something to look forward to. Well, what if I tell you exosuits and extreme movements are the game's new core? What if I tell you there won't be camping or overpowered stuff like C4? What if I tell you it will have the fastest action you can look for? What if I tell you they give us kill streaks to improve our score? Well, as a gamer, for me, that's something I would definitely never ignore. Pick one thing you enjoy the most, then compare it in between Call of Duty and Battlefield. Would you rather have realistic dynamics or be a zombie slayer? It all comes down to good mix of a single player campaign, a fun co-op mode or an addicting multiplayer. But I still think Battlefield Heartland will be something to be excited about, something everybody would definitely enjoy, even though I prefer co-op mode from Call of Duty. So yeah, even though I'm a COD fanboy. This fall, a new season of gaming will start. Choose the right game to buy or choose both when you're smart. I mean, I know they are two totally different games, but as soon as I hear those names, mate, my heart goes up in flames. The competition in between those games is hard, but you should always enjoy yourself while playing one of those masterpieces of art. I'm running out of rhymes, so I think I'll wrap up this video right here. But the name Pro Beast on YouTube should always be stuck 